welcome to chapter 7 the revolt of 1857 we have divided this chapter into three parts and each part will have its own significance so in this lecture before moving to forward i will request you to please subscribe this channel this is a new channel we really need your support so now moving towards the lecture what was the revolt of 1857 when we see the historical part there were lots of reasons that were piling up from the centuries and this revolt of 1857 was a result of oppression among the people from the from the past almost 100 years okay in this revolt we will we will see that the major parts that uh, that played a role that a key role was the our soldiers and all actually we are calling at our soldiers but in the backward they were peasants only so that's why the revolt of 1857 sometimes call it as a sepai discontent sepai the soldiers yes the revolt this revolt was basically confined for the central and the northern india and it was untouched not untouched but but basically it was the southern parts were uh, not involved in this revolt yes it became one of the main reasons behind the failure of the revolt of 1857 but at the one end when we are telling that this revolt was the failure but at the second in the in the second stage in the in the second reason if if we see this revolt became one of the reason for the successful freedom struggle the emergence of the successful freedom struggle okay so this revolt that was emerged in the northern and northern and central zone that was swept away by the britishers yes uh, they uh, there were few indian peoples like few indian landlords merchants will see that few indian peoples were in the favor of the those indian people that were rich and all that that were dependent upon the britishers uh, administ British administration were in the support of British like the landlords of Bengal regions were against the peasants of the farmers because they were getting benefit from the British administration and one of the one of the another main reason that we'll see in this lecture that there was lack of patriotism on the unification on the united basis okay earlier okay but in the revolt of 1857 we will see that people united together they understood their religious sentiment like like the muslims stopped cow, cow slaughtering when wherever the hindus were present just to make a religious cooperation to make a unification against an one enemy that is british all those things we'll see in this chapter so this revolt of 1857 was merely a sepai discontent okay that in this uh, sepai was like, like the soldiers were mainly involved and if more precise that was avad uh, avad based uh, soldiers dalhousie played dalhousie had a, another key role that uh, uh, that 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 made triggering of this uh, discontent and all so it was a, this revolt was a reaction of accumulation of grievances and the peoples against the company's administration and the dislike of the foreign regime so this this uh, violent revolt that was taken it was it was not like sudden uh, it emerged so it was like people had their feelings had their thoughts piling up more more soldiers where hundreds of soldiers were killed 30s of soldiers were uh, gun uh, were killed on the gunshot in the into into their mouths and all so these were the reasons that made them to cause this incident in 1857 moving into this lecture we'll see that what were the reasons behind what was the actual reason that's i'm continuously iterating the term piling up of the various reasons from the century so what were the reasons that uh, made this so much a violent uh, revolt first if if we see to in two parts like uh, this reasons will be divided into merely merely two parts you can divide into 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 more sub parts in the two parts if you see one was economical reason okay 
like the handicrafts, the, the weaving industries and all were completely destroyed. Why? Resources were bought from India at the cheap cost. They were built in uh, Europe regions, England and all, through the machine made goods and they used to sell that goods in India at higher cost uh, uh, so like compared to the uh, with the compared to the Indian products they were making it cheaper to sell their own product to the industries and as it was a handmade if they want to sell the taxes were imposed on them so that kind of exploitation was present so economic exploitation of the country was one of the main reason one of the main reason for the revolt of 1857 and another reason we will see the religious one religious was one was is still in India is a, a political topic like vote banks still comes as a sharing in the religious uh, view okay so the complete destruction of the traditional economic fabric that was economic exploitation of country was one of the reason for the starting of the revolt the land revenue policies new landlords lacking ties of traditions that had linked the old zamindars to peasants pushed rent to renas heights and evicted them in case of non payments what does it mean it means now in the new land revenue policies earlier let's suppose when the kings and uh, kings and uh, queen will used to rule into the region so it was like let's suppose if this year have a famine so there was a tax deduction or or they used to uh, ease the tax for that year okay but that kind of scenario was not present in the british regime so it was like even if 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 you if the landlords or if the zamindar failed to pay the tax the land will be snatched by them they will be evicted from the collection of taxes the landlords and zamindars difference like zamindars will have own land they used to cultivate and all into their own uh, own area and landlords is like uh, they used to give their land on the rents to the others and so they they called themselves as the landlords okay and other people used to cultivate on them and they used to pay the taxes and let's suppose when the kings and queens used to rule they were at the end they were the local people only so they have a sentiment between between the uh, people between the peasants and them so if let's suppose if the uh, the climate was not good favorable for this for favorable for the condition for this particular year so they used to give a uh, uh, what to say uh, like ease their taxes and all okay but that was not the condition with respect to the britishers so on the extent they used to uh, make them landless they used to snatch the land and used to give to the others okay so this was one of the reason economical exploitation of the country first reason in short exploitation uh, economical exploitation was one of the reason another reason regional okay the uh, re religional based okay so that we'll see so this accumulated vast mass of peasants artisans handicrafts traditional zamindars and chiefs okay so this this is a continuation of this uh, this topic okay so famines continued from 1770 to 1857 okay the famines was one of the main reason uh, that uh, zamindars and landlords used to f uh, used to be get failed in 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 the payment of taxes to the government and at the end the lands used to be uh, snatched from them okay zamindars were harassed by the demands of higher land revenue threatened to lose their status in the village okay so zamindars had a status because they had a land only okay the the threatening environment that was created by the britishers okay that made them that made them hostile towards the uh, britishers that the zamindars became hostile towards the britishers okay so this all will come under your uh, this economical economical aspects okay if, uh, now the religious aspects will come into this this uh, this last topic the last reason the middle and upper class of the indian society particularly in the north were hard hit by the exclusion from well paid higher post in the administration now uh, the the another aspects for this one when the job was given even the indian people used to 
work at the same level they were not getting the same encashment same uh, same salary compared to the britishers what was the reason behind it the one of the main reason behind this that britishers always think themselves as superior race compared to the indians okay and they think themselves that they came to this world to teach these brown people black people further the complex judicial system enabled the rich to oppress the poor now wh what does it mean the religious so so what happens the rich people had a close ties with the britishers okay it means they will be always in favor of them now whenever custody or a case comes in 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 front of the judicial so where one side is the rich people is there one side the poor people is there the the case always falls into the favor of rich one okay flogging torture and jailing of the cultivators for arrears of rent or land revenue or interest on debt were quite common what does it mean so like like uh, the area uh, the area rent so what does it mean by the area rent so let's suppose uh, in the month of june you were unable to pay the tax due to uh, climatic condition due to lack of climatic condition now in the next season let's suppose in the winter season that whatever the cultivation you are going to happen whatever the cultivation you are going to earn you have to repay those uh, repay those tax also to the britishers so for the britishers the paid tax that was not paid in the month of june due to any condition that will be termed as a arrear for them arrear for britishers okay so if they used to fail if they used to fail in payment of those uh, uh, areas of the rents or, or the land revenues or any interest so they were put behind the bars okay thus this leads to grow in poverty of the people made uh, that made them desperate and led them to join a general revolt in the hope of improving the lot improve improving a lot so it means like these things were piling up these were the reasons that made the people united because it because these economical exploitation that was not based upon that we will give privilege to hindu people and and muslim people will uh, will suffer no that kind of not condition was there each either hindu or muslim or sikh whoever will be there they were equally ill treated okay now the last the most important point that that i was continuously iterating that was the religious one when during that uh, period if you see the christian missionaries used to be seen in all areas hospitals schools uh, even 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 in other uh, official places the christian missionaries were present used to be present they used to work there and further there uh, one of the main motives for them was to uh, uh that uh, the change of their religions okay conversion conversion was one of the mon main motive for them so thus this this uh this mindset hurted the uh, hurt the pandits malbis and all for this region so this was this became this religious religions this religious sentiments united the all sections of the society further one of one of the incident that we'll see in the coming slide the religious sentiment britishers now started to send those indian sepoys overseas for for the fight various uh, fights whenever the fights used to happen with the americans and all whatever the regions were there they used to send those uh, soldiers overseas now in the hindu uh, in the hindu arena there was a belief that if a people cross the seas overseas if people went overseas they will lose their caste okay so that kind of things when it was coming in front of them they were directly hurting the religious sentiment and thus these reasons the economical reasons and the and the and the religious uh, religious two aspects economical and re religious became the two aspects for the cause of revolt of 1857 now within these two aspects it was not like that it happened within within a day or within within 5 uh, years or 10 years it happened from the long centuries people were suffering and suffering and suffering now 
a trigger was required for them a spark was required for them that we'll see at the end what was that a spark that made revolt of 1857 and so violent it was complete a violent revolt but yes it was crushed by the britishers so now what was the role what was the british role what they caused why they caused these reasons uh, that made this revolt of 1857 one more important thing that british had a mind it was not political things they believe as a humanity they clear they had a clear mindset that we are a racial supreme we are racial supreme it means like they believe that we came into this world to make other race to teach how to behave how to uh, like uh, uh, how to live how to make a life balance what what will the future uh, aspects for the next life how the god will treat and also these teachings whatever the teachings were there as a religious aspects as a uh, uh, life balance aspects and all they think themselves that we came into this world for this thing only to teach these people how to live and all so that the mindset that they had for the racial supremacy made them that became a uh, Uh, that that create a important role for the uh, for this revolt okay now the annexation of awadh by lord dalhousie in 1856 remember the uh, revolt happened in 1857 and the annexation of uh, awadh by lord, Dal lord dalhousie was done in 1856 okay this was widely resented by the indian people why this wh what this happened when when it annexed the awadh most of the soldiers present in the uh, army of the britishers were from the awadh only 25000 soldiers were from the awadh now when you are annexing your house yes it's true there was no feeling of patriotism as a unification of india but the people who but the people had a local patriotism okay so now with the when the lord dalhousie annexed the awadh impose the higher taxes ultimately it fell it fell to the awadh soldiers awadh sipahis who were working with the britishers now this became one of the key things they that's why it's called as sipahi mutiny okay so they resented they raised their voice against the britishers okay so the annexation of awadh by lord dalhousie in 1856 was, was widely resented in india in general and particularly in awadh and it created an atmosphere of rebellion in the awadh and in the company's army lord dalhousie's actions angered the company sipahis and 75000 of whom who came from awadh that that like almost 75000 who came from the awadh they raised the voice against it okay so the annexation of awadh affected the sipahis wallet as the tax that were imposed on them and they had to pay higher taxes on the land and their family held in awadh so now this uh, this britishers role that that the uh, lord dalhousie's activity was acted as a fuel acted as a fuel for this revolt now we need the spark fuel is there he annexed awadh imposed the taxes lots of the sepoys were present uh, were working on the britishers and they were full of anger because whatever whatever they are earning they are going into the taxes so now fuel has been filled up for this revolt now we need a spark we need a fire thus this revolt will emerge okay so this annexation of awadh acted as a fuel for this revolt now so what was the excuse presented by the dalhousie for this annexation so he must have excuse why am i annexing it uh, to he must have a uh, word to their soldiers to give the reasons why i have annexed your region why i have annexed your region okay first that they said uh, first that he said that we wanted to free the people of awadh from the nawab's mismanagement and talukdar's operation okay but actually this doesn't happen this this statement was just to convince the people to make 
this statement was given just to make himself right in front of them why what what uh, why what was happening see at the end whoever is the nawab whoever is the talukdar they were the local people only now whenever the conditions occurs let's suppose the famine condition so if there is a famine they used to understand the local sentiment they have a sentiment between the people between the local people and okay they used to uh, like uh, for this june they will say that okay you can leave the tax for this month as the famine was there in the next season you will uh, you pay a certain amount of tax okay but that kind of sentiment connection was not present with the britishers okay that was not with the britishers okay so they are never going to understand they, they were never going to understand uh, what was the uh, like uh, the the local people sentiments and and it was never in the favor of those people so the annexation of avad and other annexation created panic among the rulers of native states political prestige of the british was also known most of the time they used to broke the deals yes britishers were famous in breaking their own deals if you see in the condition of punjab for the afghanistan and all yes whenever they made the promise whenever they made the deal they were himself to break their own deal so thus the image of the britishers was not good in in the eyes of the people endangering of people's religion also became one of the reason one of the key reason one not one of one of the key reason for this revolt the fear was largely due to the activities of christian missionaries who were to be seen in all the places in all, all the places in schools in hospitals in prisons in the marketplaces and all and these missionaries tried to their their aim had or they had only one aim to convert the people okay and this made a violent and vulgar pul- public attacks on hindus and islams this had happened in the in that period so they used to openly ridicule denounce the long christian customs and traditions of the people so yes see see i will i will i will make one more uh, brief statement about this religious sentiment so what was happening during that period there were certain evil practices that we used to follow in in our customs let's suppose uh, hindu the sati practices the widow remarriages the child uh, the, uh, sorry uh, the uh, the widow's lifestyle like uh, the ba- the balding of the uh, the balding of the women and uh, not allowing to uh, live into the house so that kind of practices for the widow and the child marriages and all okay so what was happening when the britishers the christian missionaries used to raise voice against them the indian scholars were taking it as a positive way and yes it's true these these uh, raising of the points were uh, correct only the, that that was true in the sense uh, this was against the uh, humanitarian ground what were the practices were uh, were followed that's why we called it as the evil practices and scholars were in the favor of britishers because of the voice coming against these practices and they thinks they 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 considered that britishers will are there to improve the indian conditions but at the end after after this revolt we will see that indian indian scholars themselves realized that no britishers has no where for to uh, change the condition of this this evil practices or or something into the favor of the indian people they were here just for their own profit and that's why these uh, scholars and after that joined together and uh, started the freedom struggle against the britishers okay so the conservative religious and uh, social sentiments of the people were also hurt by some of the humanitarian measures which the government had undertaken on the advice of indian reformers okay so they believed that alien obviously uh, the the uh, the pandits the molvis and all they always have a uh, voice against them that why these foreign missionaries are uh, pinpointing into our own religious sentiments and all they are nobody to tell what should we do and what should we not to do okay so they believe that an alien christian government had no rights to interfere in their religions and customs the abolition of sati the legalization of widow remarriage the opening of western education to girls appear to them as examples of such an as an under interference and that's why here they uh, here these christian here these religious sentiments uh, lack the support of scholars because scholars were supporting these things 
so taxing lands of temples mosques religious institution and, and also why they are taxing our own religions we are uh, we are here to uh, worship and all we they we, we are nobody to give taxes to them who are they so okay so these were the reasons that was given by the excuse by uh, that the excuse by the dalhousie for this region and these were the continuation of uh, the uh, the explanation of the previous slide for the reasons behind it okay the pointing for that so now how the setup of this revolt happened now the main things how this revolt was set up and what caused the sparks as we have, we have said fuel is ready okay fuel is ready now we need one spark for the revolt of 1857 so this part 1 mainly discuss about this start the emerge of the revolt okay in the part 2 and part 3 we will discuss uh, let of this okay so now coming to this setup so this revolt was started as a sipai's mutiny okay as i as i uh, clearly mentioned that after the our annexation this the fuel was ready for that sipai's started to raise voice against the people because the in the uniform okay they were sipai's but in the background they were the peasants only okay so that's why a key term is their peasants in uniform these people were peasants in uniform the military authorities forbade them to wear caste and sectarian uh, marks beads or turbans okay so what was happening uh, the religious sentiments are being hurt like what the muslim people used to keep their beard so they were not allowed to keep that the sikh people used to wear turban that was not allowed to for them so these were the regions that were piling up to cause this uh, religious sentiment hurt continuous religious sentiment hurt by the britishers who are they that pointing to us we want to work but at the same time we want to follow our religious sentiment but that was not allowed so in 1856 an act was passed under which every new recruit under to the uh, serve even overseas now another now another reason for the religious for the hurting of the religious sentiment now the british have started to british have decided to send the indian sipahis to the overseas and in the hindu as i said in the starting of this lecture only in the hindu religious there was a belief that if the hindu travel across the sea like uh, then they will lost their caste hindu was forbidden to across the sea okay further for the uh, muslims they were uh, the cartridge one i don't want to uh, tell that thing here right now okay i'm skipping it uh, We, the the last slide will be uh, about that um, pig uh, the cartridge one okay that will act as a spark okay so further they address those indian people as a pig as a pig okay it was like not giving respect to them now what was the result what uh, now we'll see that what were the centuries back what were the incidents happened that made that angered the people and that they were piling up that were collecting it one place and it will burst out in the 1857 the sipai mutiny broke out in bengal as early in 1764 remember this revolt we are talking about is in 1857 and in 1764 a uh, sipai mutiny happened in bengal and they were crushed out the 30 sipais were shot out were shot in the uh, by the guns into their mouth another incident the more immediate cause of sipai dissatisfaction was the denial of batta when serving in sindh and punjab this resulted in big cut for their salaries what is batta let's suppose you are working in, in a uh, sales department and you have to travel one place to another when you travel from one place to another the company incurs a cost for it or if if you are traveling from a bike the company will incur the petrol price for it okay so that's that's kind of things will called as the batta now in this case for the sindh and punjab region the britishers denied the payment of batta whatever you have to do whatever the whatever that um, expenditure will be incurred you have to pay from your own salary we are not going to pay extra apart from the salary okay so that became one of the administrative cult as uh, uh, administrative denial or the uh, uh, that uh, the feeling against the britishers uh, rose against those uh, in the regions of sindh and punjab in 1806 the sipais at vellore mutin but were crushed with the terrible violence where 100 men died in the battle okay and in 1824 see in 18, in 1764 this incident happened 
within that also small small incidents were happening okay um, we have just collected the important one 1764 this incident happened this and seen that punjab regions where the batta was denied in 1806 another sepai mutiny happened in 1824 the 47th regiment of sepai at barakpur refused to go to the bama by sea route because they don't want to go cross the sea because it will ultimately hurt their religious sentiment and due to this this uh, this regiment were disbanded its an armed men were fired upon by the artillery and the leaders of the sepoys were hanged okay the sepoys of afghan were on the verge of revolt of afghan war so what were the things what we are seeing here these are like these were like collecting these these incidents were being collecting 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 okay and now the glass will full okay the petrol will be full now it needs one now it needs one a spark here okay what will the spark that's uh, that's i think uh, it's it is here so the revolt of 1857 the revolt of 1857 came as a culmination of popular discontent with the britishers and imperialist exploitation from 1763 to 1856 there were more than 40 major rebellions and hundreds of the minor one that we have not discussed at least uh, uh, till now here so these rebellions were often led by the rajas nawabs jamindars landlords and the polygarchs but their fighting force were provided by the peasants artisans and ex soldiers deposed indian rulers and disposed them disarmed jamindars and polygarchs so what what, what in the crisp, crisp in the crisp point in the in the short and crisp uh, it is telling that this revolt was not a result of a sudden incident it was an incident that was coming from back hundreds uh, hundreds of years where major incidents have major rebellions happened and they were they were completely destroyed and crushed by the britishers and why they were crushed the reason behind this that they were not united whatever the rebellions happened that happened at a local level there was no feeling of patriotism okay they didn't unite themselves there is no unification for them that's why these revolt used to be crushed easily and we will see this revolt of 1857 was also crushed no doubt in that but britishers uh, like they had to struggle a lot to win this revolt why because people united together in this revolt northern central region people united together irrespective of the religion yes few were in the support of britishers because uh, like the rich people were getting uh, help from the britishers in the administrative works and also okay so or, or or in their business perspective yes few were against them but but major of the the point is that in this uh, in this revolt different regions people different people from the different regions united together irrespective of caste and all okay the problem with this rebel was that they were massively totality but were wholly local in spread and isolated from each other isolated 100 rebellions happened let's suppose four rebe four uh, incident happened four rebels happened 1 2 3 and this one is four but nobody knows each other they don't know each other they are fighting uh, themselves if these four united together and then if they go to the fight with the britishers yes there was a chance to uh, lost to the britishers or they could also win but this didn't happen they spread they fighted in an isolated manner with each other okay now what the spark that i was talking about fuel was filled up everything was done now we need a spark for the starting of the 1857 and this episode of grief cartridges marked as a spark what happened in the in in while before firing uh, there was cheering up uh, tearing up of the cartridge the, the leather packet was there something uh, the leather packet was there and it was believed that it is made up of a pig okay and muslim people don't eat pig you know okay it was against their religious sentiment okay even for the hindus who were uh, uh, who don't eat uh, those non veg food and all so it was like this was intentionally introduced by the britishers to destroy their religious sentiment okay so that episode the grease cartridge episode act as a spark to set a fire that resulted in a revolt of 1857 okay the metal the mass was ready only a spark was needed to set a fire 
the episode of the greased cartridge provided this a spark for the sepoys and the mutiny gave the general populace of the occasion of the revolt okay so now we will take part 2 and part 3 I hope you have liked this video please like and subscribe if you have any doubt or if you want to connect with me feel free to connect with me on twitter handle and the social media things is also given so please feel free to connect uh, with me for any doubts or uh, or you can you can go in the comment section as well okay thank you